What's up everyone? So today we're going to install the Ford Sync 3.4 into my 2016 Mustang. So before you do this, there's one thing you need to know. This is a unofficial way of doing things. This is not an official update. So you're going to completely erase your 8-pin module and reflash the software. So let's get started. I'm going to show you guys where to get the files and then we'll head up to the car and get everything started. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website, the link is in the description, and we're going to first start off by downloading the factory mode reformat tool. So go ahead and download this file. It's going to be a zip file, so once this downloads, we're going to have to extract it. So that's the first file we need. The second file we need depends on which system you have. So I have navigation and I have a North American model, so I'm going to download this file which has the maps built in as well. So this is a very big file, 13 gigabytes, so it's going to take a while to download. Now these are the instructions with pictures, so you can follow along if you want to. And there's also this update, so I'm going to download this as well. And basically this is the latest version that's available right now as far as I know. So this will be at the end. So now we have three files downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and extract these files first. So we need to extract the zip files. So we're going to click up here and click extract all. Then we're going to click extract. So I already extracted these, so I'm going to click skip. But once it's extracted, you have this file here. We're going to close this and continue extracting the other files as well. So be sure to extract all three files the same exact way. And once these are extracted, we're going to use a USB. So make sure the USB you use is a good quality USB, don't use a cheap one. And what we're going to do is we're going to format them. So I'm going to insert the USB and we're going to do the exact same stuff for both USBs. So this is the file that I want. This is the format tool and I plugged in my USB. You're going to right click and click format and then we're going to make sure it's set to XFAT. And then once it's set to XFAT, we're going to make sure quick formats checked. Then we're going to click start. It should take like a few seconds. And then once that's done, you're going to open the folder and you're just going to drag the two files. So the folder and the file. This is from the, the tool that formats the car. So once this is done, so as you can see, this is a small file. So we're going to go here and we're going to eject the USB. And you will do the exact same thing to the second USB the same way. So let's go to the car and get ready. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the car is turned off. And we're going to plug in the first of the two USBs. So this one is the format tool USB. So you're going to plug it into the little glove box USB port. And then once you plug it in, you're going to turn on your car. Uh, I'm going to turn on the ignition because I don't know how long this is supposed to take, so you can turn on the car and you're going to be greeted with the restarting system, at least I was. And then it's going to automatically restart, you don't have to click anything. And then after it reboots, you're going to see this screen and it's going to say update not found, don't worry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the other USB that we made. So you're going to unplug the USB. And now we're going to switch to the one that had 13 gigabytes of data. Well, at least for me, because I have the navigation. So you're going to plug this in. And once you plug this in, the system should automatically recognize it. As you can see, mine started formatting. If yours doesn't recognize it, just restart the ignition once you plug in the USB. This took me about 28 minutes with my fast USB. And then once it's done, you'll see this. So you remove the USB and this is the screen you'll see once it's done. So we're going to click that and here we are. So this is the new interface. Uh, it looks mostly the same, but it's a little bit slower than the original 3.0. As you can see, when you press buttons, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. It's not too bad, but when we click about, we see that we're on 3.4. So now we're going to update this to the newer version. So the same thing as before, drag the files, turn on the car, and it's going to automatically start updating. So it's going to take some time for my car to start up. 
All right, it's taking some time. Okay, there we go. So now it's gonna say updating system software at the top. There we go. So this took me about 20 minutes. So once it's done updating, you'll see this screen. And then basically you're gonna remove the USB and it's gonna restart the system by itself. And now I have the Ford logo. And here we are. So this is the latest version. This is 19.274. So let's take a look. And about sync and it's loading. There we go. That's the latest version. Well, I hope that helps you upgrade your sync 3.0 3.4. One thing to note, if you do update to 19.274 like I did, the format tool no longer works because Ford blocked it. However, the way to get around that is upgrade back to the 19200, which is the lower version, and then you could flash again. So with that said, if you have uh, any questions, let me know in the comments. And uh, hopefully you were successful as I was in installing Sync 3.4 in your older vehicle. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.